and we're live. That off. Still put my socks on. Ah. Still setting up here. Tom is here. Looking good. Headphones on. Heavy 420. That's not me. I don't partake in such. Crowbars up. What does crowbars up mean? <laughs> but welcome back. Uh, we're doing Treasure of Tarman today. We're doing a challenge, which I think should be number two on the keypad. Easy. And our goal is to get to floor 99. By around 9.30 or so. I might go over time if I have to. No, we can't rush it just yet, because I think we need to get supplies first before we can rush anything. And we need to try to get those two books. Get a potion. We'll keep it for now. <clears throat> We're playing easy, so there should be no like uh, difficulty with the enemies too much. Unless I just make a dumb, dumb, dumb decision. But the enemies are pretty weak on easy. So that's why I'm doing this one. Actually, it'd be even, it would be even easier if I did the easiest difficulty. But I think we can do it on easy. Because I did the, uh, the four books challenge on easy, so... So we're not going to be jumping floors just yet. We need we need supplies. We need to level up our stats a little bit before we start heading out. So I'd say the first four first few floors are about uh, grinding a little bit. Tom Jarvis is here. Okay, that's where we started off at, wasn't it? So we want to go this way. Uh, 
There's like no enemies yet. We haven't faced one enemy yet. How am I supposed to level up if there's no enemies anywhere? No enemies anywhere. What's going on here? <clears throat> I know it's on easy difficulty, but this is a little bit too easy. Do you have set, do you have anything to do with this, Tom? There's one, finally. Nothing in there. <clears throat> is there a door here too? Yep, there is. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. No, it, it's 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 the button you press on the keypad keypad when you first start the level. I think you hit number three. It's easiest. Number two is easy, number one is medium, and disc is hard. Uh, actually, you might be able to tell by looking at the map. If it's if the Minotaur is only four levels down, which we're at the level one, then that's easy. If it's two levels down, that's easiest. This is armor. It's a halberk. Not sure what the halberk is. Which part of the body does that go on? Is that like uh, something that goes over the shoulder? I don't know. Where, where that actually would fit on the human body. Yeah, you put. Yeah, disc is hard. Yeah, you don't want to play on disc. That's true. That's mistake number one. Playing on disc. Because you've seen how long it took me to beat the game on hard. It, it, it was months of attempts. I'm actually not wasting my food right now. I could rest right now and level up. Even though I do have plenty of food, it's not like I'm going to be low on food or anything. We'll rest right now. We'll probably be at level 20 or something. 19. Close. Because every time you rest, you might level up a little bit. But you're also wasting food when you do it. So as long as you're not hurt, sometimes it's good to... Uh, not level up right away. Not waste your food. Wait, this is the way we just came in. This is how we started the level. That's how we started the level. Now I remember. Okay, that's how we started the level. And there's actually a gate here. And it looks like a tan gate, so we should be okay. I don't know if we was ready for it yet, but we're taking it anyway. 
Mike's tray has a meat patty, corn, a small salad, and a carton of milk. You've made it into a MP4? What does that mean? <laughs> Did I miss something in the comments? I'm not always paying attention. Hallberg is chainmail. Because it, it's it, it's it's color, it's shape. It's not sh color, but its shape kind of doesn't really look like anything special. That's a helmet. See, that looks like something you could wear. An actual helmet. I, I could see that being something you would want to wear. And they actually hurt me, so I won't rest. Ooh, a good ring, a blue ring. Actually, I think it's blue. With my TV right now, I couldn't tell you if it was really blue or not. Double. To answer your question from earlier, Double, you actually have more teeth. You have you have you have more teeth than I do. Yeah, oh yeah, heck of a lot more. You 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 can't tell, but it's true. Missing the back teeth, I think, on both sides there. Missing a tooth there, out there, and on that side right there. And I'm missing one right here. And I think I'm missing the back one there. And I can't remember what else. Well, I just had teeth go bad. I didn't have anything taken out that was just, you know, just, just when they go rotten, you know, and I had some rotten teeth. I don't know for sure if, if the wisdom wisdoms are one of the teeth that was taken out or not. Is this also the hallway? Yes. Well, we're going to try. But we can't just rush down the ladders just yet. We need armor. We need books. You know, we need to level up a little bit. You know, it's a it's a pretty big challenge to be or be undertaken here, so And we might be done with this floor already, so Even if we did miss something, it's okay. We're going to move on a little bit fast, but just not too fast just yet. We'll start moving on fast when it's... uh.
Well, once we get the stuff we need, then we're going to book it. We're playing on the second easiest difficulty. Because there, there is a difficulty easier than easy. Having a backup scroll is a good idea. Is this the hallway? Nope, not the hallway. I guess we'll just go this way. Weak scroll, we don't want that. Oh, hey there. ASCII rogue. I've uh I've actually uh, uh tried a few of those kind of games in recent times. One of them being called Talonguard. Even though I don't know if it's really ASCII, but maybe it is. And uh, what's what's the other one? Uh, Temple of Apchi. Those are games that uh, games are recommended to me. Uh, you can only put it in one hand. You need to put the shield in your, uh, this hand over here. Your left hand. It, it does no good anywhere else. Ooh, armor. Let's put that on. Yeah, you can also use your shield spot to hold an item if you don't have a shield yet. So I, I could have actually put that item I picked up earlier in that hand. Sometimes I just forget to do so. You can use it as an extra carrying spot. We already have that helmet, so we don't need it again. I'm trying to teach Tom how to play at the same time. Uh, also keep in mind that there's different color armor, so just because I have armor on doesn't mean there's not better armor out there. So if you if you see armor and you have not played this game a lot, it's a good idea just to put it on anyway. Even if you think you already have it. Try it anyway. Put all armor on. Just in case you can't remember which color of armor you've put on. I think I was already here. I think this is where I started at. So I think we're done with this level unless there's a gate. And it doesn't look like there's a gate. That's right, because we're... Oh, no, there actually could be a gate here, but I don't think there is one. Now there is a gate, okay. I think it's time to start using my scroll. I was hoping for a, a blue gate so I could... Uh, you know, uh, cut my uh, war points in half. 
Keep in mind, Tom, that there's gates in the hallways. A tan gate doesn't change your stats. A blue gate will cut your uh, war health in half and give that give half of it to your spiritual side. A green gate will cut your spiritual health in half and give it to your war side. And usually your spiritual side's always lower. So it's never a good idea to go through a green gate in the hallway. Unless you have unless you're just somehow lucky to have super dang high spiritual health. I somehow left my bow behind. I don't know where I did that at. Television gamers here. Yeah. The only way you're going to get your uh, spiritual health up is to use spiritual weapons, like scrolls. And you can tell that you're using a spiritual weapon because the damage of my weapon is 5 and it's on the right side. If I put my bow in that hand, that then it's 15 damage, but the 15 is on the left side. I got a charmed long staff. Game's in this year. <laughs> Mike's tray has a meat patty, corn, a small salad, and a carton of milk. So we're after books. We're after our books. That's our main thing, is to get the two books. So we need to find, you know, some door doors we can attack, or just find the books in a chest or something. But we need books. Grab that 21 and run hard. What 21? Well, I think we're done with this level. I'm just going to move on. Where was the... Uh... I think it was in here, actually. Just move on. I don't want to move on too quickly, but I don't want to stick around too long either. It's kind of a give and take thing here because we got to try to do this quickly but not miss things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, luck be on My our side. Tray has a meat patty, corn, a small salad, and a carton of milk. Well, luck be on our side getting these books. That's the thing. We don't know if luck will be on our side getting these books.
Well, I did notice on our last easy playthrough, those doors that we attacked to get uh, the books showed up earlier than they usually do. But let's hope we have the same luck. Okay, we was just here, I think. Oh, crossbow. Uh, it's actually better. Okay. Dive. Well, not time to dive yet. There's still things here to get. Like an upgraded helmet. And a... Decent axe and a better thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're, we're on the Tarman's level, aren't we? Are we? No, we're not. Okay, never mind. For se for second arrow's thinking, wait, wait a minute. We could be on the Tarman's level. Maybe I should be careful, but that's the next one. Actually, is this just the uh, blue one? Yeah, tell uh, tell everybody about your mod there, Double. So that's pretty cool. So we are on the Minotaur's lair. We need to be careful. Even though I might... I don't know if I could take him now at the level that I'm at, though. I'm so sorry, it's the moops. Like, maybe I could, maybe I couldn't, you know. I was hoping to quickly find a ladder and get out of here. Because we're on his lair now. I'm worried that he's in any of these doors.
Or any way other uh, alt out of here. Hallway. He's not in here. Shield. I bet I could take him anyway. We might just have to find out. Nope, nope, we're taking the ladder. <laughs> I didn't take no more chances. I don't know what they are. I, I, I honestly, I, th I think it's just a piece of treasure, like pottery or something. Ooh, good armor. Do, do, do we have the upgrade armor? I don't think we do. Nope, we don't. Yeah, we need those books first, though. We can't start whooshing without the books. And so far, we're not having any luck finding any attack doors. I feel like that's what I had for lunch today. Just about. <laughs> Not quite, but you know. <laughs> and sometimes it seems like it. Mike's tray has a meat patty, corn, a small salad, and a carton of milk. You like, you knew it was good, but you hated it. Yeah. I think we was already here. I'm already lost. Where am I? Am I somewhere? Have I been in here? I'm going to take the ladder. I don't know. I'm just going to take the ladder. Get out of here. Maybe we did all that. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. Hey, pink ant, rice and green beans. I had hamburgers today. Well, I was already here. Man, I can't, you know, my brain's just going soft. I can't tell where I've been, where I haven't been. This is an alligator. 
Which doesn't look like an alligator to me. But hey, the game says it's an alligator. I guess it's an alligator. Wait, did I just go the wrong way again? Well, what a score here. Alligator. Well, might as well use it, even though it's not what I wanted. You know, the, the other book would be better. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I meant to come over here to this side. Around here we have two... I can't read all that just yet. Oh, taco trucks? Uh, I don't know if there's any kind of food trucks around here. There, there might be some in some of the bigger cities. I already had that, I guess. I think we already had a bigger ring than that one. I think we started off with a bigger ring. Thought an alligator was a strange choice. Yeah. It is a strange choice. Is this the same one I have? No, it's better. What color is that one? Ooh. Let's go, buddy. Ha ha ha. This is the see through walls book. Now we just need the uh the whoosh book and we're good to go. Then we could just start going down. So we got one of the two books that we need. If we're lucky, maybe we'll get one in a in a thing like that, you know. We do. St we still need some experience, though. Probably have enough food to last a lifetime.
Might as well grab a little bit more. So the uh, the special books that, that that I have, you can tell the difference in those books because there's like a design on the front, kind of looks like uh, almost like an hourglass. Like this one lets you see through walls. All three of the special books I think have the same design. I don't know if we're ready yet, but I think we're going down. I know there's always there's still a chance that a, that a bomb could get me, and end the whole run. You know, there's always that chance. Like this right here, you know. But a regular bomb probably wouldn't hurt me, but I'm not sure about a super. Uh, that's pink, right? Uh, tell me that's pink and not purple. With my TV, I can't tell. Let me see what see what it looks like on OBS. Ah, on OBS it looks more purple. I better not take it then. I think that might be the purple one. But let me bring up the cheat sheet real quick. One of the purple ones is okay, but the other one is not okay. Large purple swaps your more spiritual, but the small purple makes monsters invisible. Now, why would you want that? I'm pretty sure that's purple. Correct me if I'm wrong. Definitely small purple. Man, where's this other book at? I'm about to go down the ladder. I know I should I should be picking up more more weapons too though. This guy's gonna give me a run for my money. So is that one. But not, not too bad. Could be worse. How do we get into him? Over there? We need some more levels anyway, so... How do we get in there? Maybe over here, there we go. It'd be awesome if we can get the book that way. Before we even get to, uh... Purple bad.
I think we're done. Let's get out of here. Do a wraith already. Eek. I, I bet we could take him. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. I guess I'll just get rid of the other scroll. Hope this one doesn't break anytime soon. Well, once we get that other book... Then we can start going down the floors quickly. Then it could just be like a half hour to like get get to the rest of the floors once we get to the other book. Or, or I could just start doing it now. Every time I see a ladder, just go. I'm going to try it. Punk. You, you, you don't got nothing on me. Ray, say... Ray think he's got something on me. We need a we need an orange key. But I think for now we're going down the ladder. Big bag, no bomb, no bomb, no bomb, no bomb. What about Tim the Enchanter? Keys open boxes. That you see in the hallway that you can't open. Because you need a key. Another Wraith. Deja Vu. Playing on hard mode? Those guys right there would probably destroy you. Easy. Oh, I, th I thought I saw something, but it was not what I thought it was. How strong is this one? Three, okay. Now, where was that ladder? We need to get out of here.
Let's make sure there's no tacking doors here real quick. I didn't think there was. I think we were been here. I think we already have that armor. A door, but not the door we need. That's the door I just beat. There's different shaped boxes as well. Halberd. Is this a good one? Yes. It's an upgrade. Boxes and bags and all kinds of things to open in the hallways. Different shaped boxes. Like, here's the box right there. That one needs a key, but that one needs a blue key. I don't have a blue key. There's three different keys. Green key, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, tan key that you start off with. Then it goes to a, uh, an orange key, then a blue key. The blue key can open all packages. Orange key can open orange boxes plus tan boxes. Tan key just, uh, just opens tan, and that's it. Here's a big bag. No, okay, orange key. We get an upgrade. Now we can open orange boxes. Not sure if I've seen any, so let's just take the ladder and get out of here. Opening these big bags is kind of dangerous because they could have a potential big bomb in them. Ooh, a potion. This is a good potion. It's a large potion. Uh, are we in war? Or is that... I can't tell if we're in mixed or if we're in war. Because I know it's going to be like that for, for the rest of the playthrough. Bomb. That's a box. This looks like an upgraded uh, crossbow. So I might as well upgrade it. Upgraded uh, shield. How do we get in here? There we go. Oh, that's that's a blue blue box. I can't open the blue box. Well, we might be done here already too. Then. Might as well go find that ladder again and get out of here. Wait. Found something I didn't open. Ooh, a spiritual book. Finally. This is going to help. <gasps> I have to I I have to do mix now. Shoo god. Okay, we almost got in trouble there, guys. That, that was the almost the end. But 
Yeah, that was... That was almost the end. How big is this one? That's a 42. Where's the ladder at? I, I want out of here. Switch to Cloudy Mountain. <laughs> There's the ladder. We need the whoosh book. Come on, whoosh book. No attacking doors anywhere near here. Come on. This four ninety eight. <laughs> I wish. I wish we was there already. Try not. Try not to get into too many fights. I don't want to get into trouble here. That sir is a bad enemy right there. I don't know if you've seen it creeping in the corner there. Mike's tray has a meat patty. Corn, a small salad, and a carton of milk. That is a wraith, and that's a gray wraith at that. We want past him as quick as possible and not bother with him. But I do want to open this chest over here, though, or bag. Oh, it's somewhere in here. Can I? Oh, there I go, go in here. Oh, no, I can't get it. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> it's from... That's a good question. Where is that from? There we go. It's from a, like, uh, how would I explain it? Well, we don't want that anyway. It's a race blocking it. Trump's like a, an old school special thing that they'd probably play in school to teach kids uh, math in a way. Teaching Timmy how... Or Mike that his food tray could be a... Uh... Oh no! Okay, wasn't too bad. Walk right into him. There we go. One hit. We got the whoosh book. Okay, now we got this, guys. Now we got this. Oh, we got an, uh, oh, the best attacking book in the game, too. That's a 66? What is this? Oh, 84. So, as far as I'm concerned, game over. We just have to try to avoid all enemy fights and just try to get two ladders as quickly as possible. Try to be careful. Try not to run in any battles unnecessarily and find a ladder. Maybe find some armor along the way. Like this ring right here. Just take a look at my surroundings. Oh, worse armor.
Oh, did I forget my shield? Oh, well. <laughs> well, if I avoid all battles, then I don't have to worry about it. Maybe I'll find another one at replacement. Wraith, bad Wraith. No Wraiths. No snakes. I'm sure we'll find another shield eventually. But the game sometimes does put you right in the middle of battle. <laughs> no my luck the game will put me right in the battle with a Orange Wraith or something when I'm not ready yet. Minotaur. A dragon. And a ladder. Well, I think that was a purple ring back there I passed up on. Oops. I saw it after I went down the ladder. Yeah, that would have been a great ring to have, too. Hey, Minotaur. Nice to see you. Hey, Orange Wraith. How's it going? Hey, Snake. I'm just going to wish right by you guys if I can. But if I do see a shield or something, we'll pick it up. But, you know, it's got to be obvious before I get to a ladder. I like to look on the outside for ladders just because uh, it's easier just to go in and get one real quick. But looks like we're not going to have that luck this time. There we go. Oh, uh, white ring, but I think that is, yeah, nothing. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, two of them. Oh, you want to play, do you? Checking my surroundings. No, no, no deaths unless we have to. Our job is a goal to get to level 99, nothing else. 
Only if we get, like, only if we accidentally run into a battle or a battle is put upon us. Our job is to find ladders. Oh, well, there you go. Okay. See? So you got your wish. <laughs> you got your wish. <laughs> Just took one hit as well. There's another tip for you, Tom Jarvis. Where's the ladder at? As, as long as you don't uh, pick up the treasure that the Minotaur drops, you don't have to win the game. You can just keep on going. <laughs> just don't pick up the treasure. seeing a ladder on the outside of this one. Oh, there is one. And you can't actually go down when you're in the middle of an attack. Even if you want to. What was that? Yeah, I'm in a tour. And no enemies will ever be out in the hallway. Hallway is always safe. <laughs> There's three Minotaur right next to each other, just about. It's like, uh, he's like, you haven't fought me in a while. Treasure in real life? Heck, if it's treasure in real life, I need treasure in real life. Man, you know how broke I am? <laughs> thank you, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, this challenge really isn't that hard, as long as you get the two books that you need. Then you just have to systematically make your way to a ladder, and just try not to run into any battles. But battles will sometimes be thrown upon you, and then... Can't do nothing about it. This challenge would be a lot harder on a hard difficulty. But I really don't got time to be doing this challenge on a harder difficulty. Since I only stream like three hours a day. I mean, it's not impossible I could do it. I couldn't do it on medium. But it's still kind of pushing it.
So, some of my challenges are time constraint because I stream three hours a day, you know. And I and I can't like uh, there's no like save states or anything. Where is this ladder at? Orange wraith bad, minotaur bad. Ladder shoot. <laughs> Almost ran into two Minotaur battles because no ladder was presenting itself. The ladder was right next to them. You're gonna play it all weekend, huh? All weekend. This game can get addicting after a while. Hey, Minnie. I wonder if the Minotaur would mind if I call him Mini. <laughs> I am worried that I am a little under leveled for like the for the higher wraiths and things. Uh, but maybe not, since I beat the Minotaur in one hit. Maybe the race won't be so bad. I'd rather just not run into them to find out, though. I'd rather just try not to. What ring was that one? It's our ring. Eh, it's just, yeah, nothing great. Many the mooch. <laughs> yeah. That's a great movie, Blues Brothers. Cab Calloway. Okay, I can't spot the ladder yet from the from out here. So we gotta go in somewhere. There's one. Hey, there's a ring there. Yeah, I only did a little bit. No, all white rings are no good to me. Oh, you want another tip, Tom? The uh, the eyes in the hallway kind of mark the, what kind of level you're on. There's three different types of lo levels. There's uh, spiritual, war, and physical. If it's a mixture, like we're on right now, it's kind of a, a tan eye in the hallway. Mixture means there's spiritual enemies and war enemies. If it's a blue eye, then it's just spiritual enemies inside the uh, inside this level. And if it was a green eye, it'd be just war enemies. And that can determine the type of items you pick up as well. Like, you're not going to find these spiritual scrolls in a war area. You might want to level up your spiritual, so going into war might be bad. So if you start off in war, you might want to reset. I've started off in war many times and reset. Or no, 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 you don't have to start over, start over when you go to war. Start over if you start off on spiritual. Well, even though, well, actually, you're playing on easier mode, so maybe not. Maybe just do it on your own to see what works. When I want to play it on hard mode, that's when I want to start over if I start on spiritual. 
It was on hard mode, it was just ridiculous. The spiritual enemies are just too tough on hard, but on easy, it's not so bad. Easy mode, I think the spiritual enemies are not, not as bad and you don't got to worry about. You don't got to worry too much about what kind of level you start off on. Playing on easier really does help. I just got so used to that playing on hard mode thing. Okay, we got to find this ladder. It's not on the outside. And there's dangerous enemies all over the place. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, game. Wow, being generous today. Look how many ladders I just picked up. I think I already got the small one. No, I didn't. Okay, look at that. Nice. Gee, right face to face with the Minotaur. Like, you're not escaping me, buddy. Anybody have any questions? You have the Blues Brothers for NES, not your favorite. Got some Blues Brothers ash from Michigan recently. <laughs> oh my god, I almost just hit the reset button on the back bit. Oh my god, I almost just ruined my run. Here I am scrolling up. Don't touch anything. Just lay off. If I miss some text, oh too well. I'll apologize later. Gosh, I almost just ruined my run, guys. So, so the enemies shouldn't be getting any any worse than what they are, right? There's not like any secret enemies that the game hasn't told me about, right? There's no like, uh, yeah, it should be just these, the ones that are mentioned in the the tips and tricks manual or guide that I have. Just looking for a ladder. Don't mind me, guys. So I'm not seeing it yet. There it is. Hey, door. Is that the platinum? That's not the platinum one, is it? No, I think that's the one I, I defeated. I don't think that's the, uh, let's see, yellow door. I might be able to beat the yellow door. It's Minotaur crazy now, man, Michael Hayes. Minotaur crazy. They're all over the place. They're like cockroaches right now. I mean, there's like multiple in one level. The Midas door. Right now, we're just after ladders. Get the heck out of here, find ladders, and go. We're getting to level 99. Minotaur, Wraith. Not seeing nothing on the outside. I have to go in a little bit. My book just disintegrated. Oh, dang it. 
Now I need another attacking book. There's one right next to this Minotaur right here. Wonder if it's in the same room that he's in. It might be. I want it. See you, buddy. Where's the ladder at? I need the ladder. Hello, ladder. There we go. Yeah, you know, the last time when, when I did that run, uh, that last challenge I did, the uh, the four book challenge, uh, the rates were really easy on easy difficulty. That actually might be an upgrade. Barely. Which was a surprise. I wasn't expecting the race to be so easy on easy mode. Because on medium and hard, gosh, they were like so ridiculous. Oh, hello there. Oh, that's only 24. Hey there, blue door. I'm just looking around. Looking for a ladder. There we go. If I didn't say hello to anybody, hello to everybody who I didn't say hello to, I'm so sorry, it's the moops. <laughs> Just a little bit focused at the moment. Just looking for ladders. Wait a minute. Why can't I go this way? Am I glitched? I was glitched there for a second. Is there, is there something blocking me here? Oh, did my book wear out? Aha! That's what's blocking me. <laughs> so, I was wondering what was going on. <laughs> I wonder I couldn't see any ladders. I wasn't seeing any items. <laughs> A little wraith probably could take you. But we have a date. The ladder. Well, I guess we get our chance at a wraith.
We beat him easily. There's one. Mark. <laughs> yeah. Down to 12. No, we, we got to go to level 99. A lot more than 12. We're at level 65 right now. Oh, I'm just now getting the notification that I went live. Hey, mister, guess what I have for breakfast? What? Beans. It's official, Kyle G. It's official. What's official? Yeah, this this could be an upgrade here. Nope, wasn't an upgrade. Minotaur. Looks like there's a ladder. I like when I could just get the ladder from the outside. It's like real quick and easy. But it's not always the case. There's one. What? Well, let me go down, are you? There's one. Get lucking out with some uh, ladder placements here. We're almost there. I didn't mean to run into him. But it's okay. Another one bites the dust. Is that the best armor? Yes, it might be. Is that a platinum shield? 
Uh, no, that's actually worse. You know, I always thought to myself, you know, boy, it, it must have taken hours, if not days, to get down to level 99. Well, when I kept hearing stories of people doing it, now I realized as long as you got these two books right here, it can just take a few, you know, <laughs> like an hour just to get to the rest of the levels. You know, it's not really a, a major thing. Can I get down the ladder without him attacking me? Yes. I was quick enough. World Record Headquarters going to help you. <laughs> okay, where's the ladder? Not seeing it. Decided to take a chance right there and just walk right past him. I was brazen right there, real brazen. Too brazen, honestly. I don't think this is better armor. No. Yeah, <laughs> long time no see. What? What's only been like an hour? <laughs> Actually, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about two hours. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Or, or was it? Or was it uh, two hours? Close enough. Looking for a ladder, guys. Not, nothing to be alarmed about. How's that one? That's actually better. Platinum. Actually, just looking for a ladder, guys. Almost, almost had to fight another Minotaur. He wanted a piece of me. Fight, do you?
I love when the ladders are right next to each other. Oops. Game is being nice. Game is being too nice. It's a setup, yeah. It's a trap. Thought there'd be a ladder in here, but nope. <laughs> Jeez. The game wants me to win. The game's on my side. The game's like, here's another ladder for you, sir. And another one, and another one. There's one. 97, guys. I have to go inside a little bit. We're not seeing a, uh, a ladder. There's one. 98. So what it, so at, at level 99 you go back to level 1 is that right? Yeah, that was our challenge to go to the bottom. And it wasn't too difficult really. <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get it done in 3 hours and uh <laughs> well, it's only been uh what? It's only been a little over an hour and a half. Okay, I'm not seeing a ladder on the outside, so we're going to have to just go inside. Look around. 99! Oh, look at that! Ain't that a sight. Two minotaurs waiting for me. Like, like I'm at the gates or something. We're at level 99, guys. So what happens now? I go back to level one? Is that right?
Do I take it? I, I've heard that you, uh, yeah, have <laughs> two. Let's do it. Level 100. I thought it went back to level one. I thought it was 99 levels. Hmm. I was always told that it was 99 levels. Undo a thousand. <laughs> Unless it's 100 levels, then back to one. Maybe it's 999? <laughs> Tom Jarvis, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess we gotta find another ladder. Hundred and one. I don't know, guys. I do not know. But thank you, Tom Jarvis. I was never told that it was over 100. I was always told it was 99. You're here all night? <laughs> I'm not here all night. <laughs> I'm not here all night. <laughs> I'm here till 9.30. Oh boy, here we go. Not too bad. But, but that's not an orange one, though. Not sure if, if an orange one would have uh, done some damage or not. possible an orange one eh, maybe could have done a little bit of damage but I do have some good armor on though it's not platinum or anything but you know it's pretty good armor just looking for the ladder uh, it's behind it's behind a yellow door that you have to fight. Or just randomly in a box or something. You can also get those just randomly in box, boxes and bags that I've been passing up. Like there's a bag right there. Open up. Gold. I still don't have the blue key. Maybe the orange key. Might as well, we could just open a few. Oh yeah, the platinum, yeah. Oh, hello there, Mr. Hyde. He did a little bit of damage. But not too bad. I, I've been told that the uh, Platinum Crossbow may not last uh, too long. I've heard that most... most uh, Most platinum uh, weapons, or, or, or higher tier weapons, don't last as long as lower tier weapons. It has lower dur durability. Yeah, it'd be nice if we could get a yellow door. But then I'd have to go on the lookout. Ooh, platinum helmet. Nice. I'd have to go on the lookout for doors.
try to avoid too many enemies. Oh, my book ran out, I think. Aha. I almost ran almost ran into stuff because I wasn't paying didn't have my book on. Fat over. Is it the Minotaur Kool-Aid man? Weren't you supposed to be working on a hack where you changed the uh gold? Where you can change the Minotaur to Kool-Aid Man and and other funny creatures. See here here we got two blue boxes, but I can't open them because I don't have a blue key. Where's that gate at in that ladder? I need that ladder. I don't know where that ladder's at. Orange key. Like sometimes I hit the wrong buttons. I get all fumbly. Are they the same person? Yeah. Oops, wrong button. Platinum crossbow. Like sometimes you almost don't don't even need to fight face a yellow door after you get down so far. You just you just start finding platinum stuff in the hallways. That's the toughest wraith in the game right there. Orange wraith with a shield. I could possibly take him. Let's go for it. If I was playing on hard mode, I'd have to have my stats up really damn far to beat that to beat that guy. Platinum goodies.
Oop, wrong thing. I already got that on. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Man, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Hitting the wrong buttons now. This is a good area to find uh, magic doors, I think, because just, there's just so many doors in the hollow doors, but nothing on this one. Platinum armor. Boom. Ah, uh, the Minotaur didn't stop spawning, did he? Has anybody noticed? Challenge over, guys. <laughs> I mean, I could continue, but I wouldn't want to at this point. We we beat the challenge. I think the Minotaur has stopped spawning. I, 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 I haven't seen him in forever. Anybody wants to see, there's a Donkey Kong kill screen coming up. <laughs> I really think the Minotaur stopped spawning. We still got the book effect currently. And there's just no Minotaur. We, we can keep going till the book effect wears off. There's no men no more, there's no more minotaurs. <laughs> Baseball stars. <laughs> so my health wasn't actually high enough to, for a super bomb. No, 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 there's the minotaur. Okay. Okay, I'm wrong. There he is. I'm going to be very upset if in 2 years from now I don't walk out into our park parking lot. Okay, just I just see didn't see him for a while. Ferraris. Like, I'm gonna be really mad. Let's see what happens if I can take him on with this weapon right here. Nope. Can he actually kill me? I'm hitting the retreat button. He switched from war to physical. Oh, he, uh... Do, do your worst. End me. End me. He switched from war to physical again. Thing, and you're gonna come at me with that? Well, <laughs> you, might, you might get a response. That's all I'm saying. And we're still alive. <laughs> okay.
We did it though. We did the challenge, but there's more than the 99 floors. Is it 9.99? What does uh, a Google search tell me on that? I mean, how many floors? The Advanced Dungeons and Dragons Treasure Retirement Video Game for the Intellivision has 256 levels. Oh. The game has randomly generated levels depending on which floor difficulty. So it was 256. 30. Could I have done another 100 levels within an hour? A little over 100? I don't know. Why was I thinking it was 99? Well, it's okay. I'll be halfway there. We don't have the books anymore. But then we'd have to fight to get the books, you know? It's just not worth it at this point. I don't know if I really want to go to 256. God, that sounds so grindy. Jeez. I lost the mood now. Well, guys, I need to take at least a five to ten minute break. And then we'll just, I'll just do some games. Maybe I'll do some requests. Or maybe I'll uh, play some games that I want to play. There's actually is a game that I want to play, but I forgot to put it on my memory card. But I'll do that when I come back. Actually, since I'm going to be away for a few minutes, uh, I'll put on something that you guys can watch. We'll put on a game of Snafu for you guys. I'll we'll select game... Uh, uh, I don't know what game. 12? No, no, not 12. I don't know my games. Froys? I... Well... Mm, 15? Let's see. That's just two player, though. We need one that's four player. Tell me one that's four player, my guys. We need a four player one. Is it 14? There we go, four player. Okay. Right back, guys.
All right, I'm back. Are you guys actually watching this? Because I need to turn off my television so I can load a, a, a couple homebrews. So we can try them out. You are watching it? Oh. Well, I don't want to play this again. I, Snafu is a game that I just like... I only put on when I'm gonna take a break or something. That's about it. I'm not really big on it. But I guess we're at level nine, so I guess I'll let it play out. Only eight level, eight more to go. There's only seven more, so.
don't know if you guys are actually rooting on anybody here. It looks like yellow's gonna win, probably. You picked the blue. All right, yellow. Go beige. <laughs> There's a couple, there's a few homebrews I want to try out. Actually, one of them I think I already did try out, but we're going to, I think there's an update of it. I, I think, unless I didn't download that one again. I don't remember now. We'll find out here in a second. What I download and what I didn't download. we want this one hopefully hopefully none of these have to be uh converted hopefully they just play as is oh this one has to be converted let me do this one real quick i gotta convert one real quick guys And hopefully just uh, Binderam is all we need. All right. Who's got the largest arms in the world, brother? So let's remember what I downloaded here. Let's see. An updated of Canyon Escape. We played this one already, but the person updated it. I don't remember I don't remember how to play this one already. This game is really difficult. So easy to get hit and then just die over and over again. Your Vegas snafu idea. <laughs> See, that happens right there. You get warped right back in to something that can kill you and you, you can't see it ahead of time. Still a fun little game, though. This is part of the uh, a challenge, though, a programming challenge. And, and they have to be uh, smaller-sized games. So... So it can't be nothing too fancy, you know. That's got to be a smaller... smaller-sized game. For, for the programming contest this year.
So I, I think your your score is how far you went. 127 meters. Now let's see what else we got. I couldn't play Chippy, because I can't play Chippy without using JZINTV and using an emulator. And at the moment, I decided not to do so. Now this one is not part of the programming contest. But I don't know if we can play this one just right. Just yet. It's a work in progress game. Is it just music? What do you know about this one, like Is this one just music? It's just music? Okay. Not, not bad music, though. I wasn't sure if he was working on a full game or if he was just doing the music. Is, is, uh, is INTV Prime, is that the one who was, who was working on that, uh, game that never got completed? It was kind of a, a, a minstrel game? I was, I, I was really looking forward to that minstrel game. Oh, it's not related to this? Okay. Let's see what else we got down here. Yeah, Maxit. How do I play Maxit? I'll play Maxit if someone will tell me how to play it. Like, what do I do? And what's the point? I don't understand the point. There's numbers, but what's the point? What do I do? How do I how do I determine where to go and what I should do? It's what I think it is. Clear as much of the board as you can for the most points. But I still don't know the point. I, I don't know what I'm achieving. I don't know. Uh, am I just trying to get the higher numbers? And that's it? Do I just want, want the biggest score possible? Is that the only point to it? Is to have a bigger score? Go over the higher points first, then they could, and try. To hopefully, the computer doesn't get the higher points. Is there anything more to it than that? Because the computer's not very good at this. If that's the point of the game. There's not much of an AI here. for the question mark.
I guess for versus a friend it might be fun. How does the computer catch up all of a sudden with 106 points? What have I been missing there? See, there, there's something more to this game I'm not seeing, because he's catching up. Oh no, the computer's in the lead. Okay, I thought I was in the lead. The computer's in the lead. So I'm losing? So I lost. Why'd I lose? I don't know. I don't understand the, uh, I don't understand the rules. Okay, so this is another contest entry, Paku, programmed by Brian Puddin. All right, Miss Paku Paku. You forgot the game, the gameplay mechanics? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. Let's see. Let's see what we get got here. Oops. Oops. Hey, I turned around. I didn't turn around. I didn't hit that. I don't know if that was a glitch or not. I swear I was hitting left and it turned went right. Not really sure. I think it's glitching out sometimes. But I'm not for sure. Yeah, it's not always turning. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes jumping back this way. I'm not sure why, but I think it is. Oh. 
So it is easy to just die all of a sudden. Ah, oh, he's too fast. I like this one, though. Even though I do think it might be a little bit on the glitchy side, but I really, really like it. This is... Well, I, I don't want to be a judge in this contest. This might be the funnest one so far. Now, this one is not in the contest, but I think it's just the game being worked on. Pack line. Oh, disc versus button. Let's see. Oh, it's the same game. So, Brian is just uh, kind of copying the other guy, right? In a matter of speaking, I guess. I shouldn't say that. Hey, it also didn't turn around right away. What if we should do button? How do we do button? Is it side button? Or is it any button? Oh, it's just side button. There's no bonus in this one. Oh. Made it to 20? Nice. Well, you know, the... The, the main goal of Tarman is just to beat the Minotaur and grab the treasure. But you can keep going as far as you want. But, you know, just starting off and learning the game, I think what you need to do is just beat the big old Minotaur and get that treasure. I think this works better with the button, honestly. But I wish I could use any button. Hmm. You only get one life in this one. Thank you. 
Where's the power pellet this time? I think grabbing the power pellet too early is a bad thing, too. No maze? Do they sell it to you later? <laughs> I, I I think it's a uh, it's a game of endurance. It it's a new uh, game that's been floating around on the internet. I don't know what the official game is called, but <laughs> your your job is just try to you know survive this one single you know row. So I think I think that's all the ones I downloaded for today anyway. Yeah, that's all of them. So, uh there's no arguments. I'm going to play some chip shot. I'm addicted to it and you can't stop me. <laughs> Which course should I play? Let's see. Well, which course do I do I need to improve my score on? You guys probably want to stop me, though. I I I I can tell. I can tell you want to stop me. Uh, Invitational open. I have the worst score on currently. A ninety-one. Celebrity prime. I have a ninety. Who would invitational open? Now let's see if I'm got what it takes today. Oh, on the sand, huh? That's how it's gonna be, huh? Not a bad shot. But that's a bad shot. Eek. Ah, oh, so close to birdie. So close. Par. Oh yeah, let me bring up the manual for this one as well. I always like looking at the clubs. I'll, I'll probably never memorize it. I don't know if I want to memorize it, honestly. 213. Ah. Against the wind, kind of. I guess we'll just do the three wood. And I screwed it up. Did I say start over? I think you heard those words. I think you heard the word start over. I undershot it. What? Well, hey, did I say start over again? I think I did. Did I start over one more time? I think I did. 
I don't know who keeps telling me to start over. I don't know who this person is. Oh, that actually was a strong sandwich. That actually went over. I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to try to putt it, which is a dumb thing to do, but sometimes it goes in. I didn't hit it hard enough, and it was a weird angle. Oh, I got gypped on that one. So, I'm going to start over. I want at least par on the uh, first one. And yeah, boy, that's a terrible shot. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, I know. It's awful. I shouldn't be playing like this. I know. Hmm. Oh, no, I didn't know how to read that one. Par. Okay, par. Okay, let's try not to go in the water this time. Don't go in the water. We went in the water. Should I just keep playing? I guess we'll just keep playing. If I keep restarting, we'll never get done, so. Oh, shoot. It's a tough one. I hooked it, but yeah, I guess it still kind of went through the tree at least. <laughs> it's all drives you nuts. Yeah, I understand that. Par? Okay, I'll settle take that. I'm gonna lay it up a little bit. Since I know I'm gonna take two shots. Oh, that's not the second shot I was looking for. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit that tree, so hopefully we don't hit the tree again. Because we're kind of at the base at it, but... Well, I think what I'm going to do... You know, if I shoot this way, it should be okay. We're not on the fairway, though, so let's see. I'll do a four iron. Uh, actually, we'll do a three... Wait, four... Because we're going against the wind... I hooked it the wrong way. I don't know how that happened. I was trying to hook it, but it didn't hook. Boy, I'm still not on the darn green. Jeez. My gosh.
I knew I should have curved up one more. I kept thinking, no, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. Oh, come on. Every time I think I'm right the first time, then I change it up and then I'm wrong. I hooked it. And it hooked, but uh, that's not how I wanted it. I'm up too far that way. Uh, uh, how do I do this? Let's see how far I can hook it. I didn't hook it at all. And now we're over there. Ugh. Awful. Just completely awful. I hooked it, but... Actually, I, th I thought it hooked... Oh, no, I did hook it that way. Okay, I did go early. Man, this is awful. Hit it too hard, or did I? Oh, I thought that went in the hole. Jeez, I can't believe I'm on a bogey on a par 5. That's awful. Double bogey on a par 5. Okay, this is the one where I keep not doing right on. Because it's hard to get through those trees. I wonder if I can go over here and then curve it. I wonder if I can get over the water. Experiment time! Ah! Well, I'll just take it. I under hit it, but it's okay. Uh, under hit it again, so I gave myself a terrible shot. Not enough juice. I would reset, but you know, we're. Ah! <laughs> it's already 9.14. I don't got time to reset. Don't got time. We just got to play with it. I'm not doing my best. I'm not concentrating. I'm playing fast. I'm making mistakes. I think I'm a little tired. So we're just going to play it out. No matter what happens, happens. Even if I don't, even if I get a worse score than I usually do. Oh, I knew that was wrong. Gosh. Hey, GSG. What's up, man? Uh, were you still looking for a way to contact me outside of YouTube? I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, there's two other ways, three other ways I can think of. So I don't have to do anything publicly. One is, uh, do you happen to have an account on Atari Age forums? Or the Backbit forums? And if you don't, there's still uh, another option. 
nine. We'll do a four iron. No. Uh, uh, go through my videos. Find a, a somewhat older video of mine. And just leave a comment. And then I will, I, will, I will reply to that comment with some information. Actually, if you do it right now, just try to find a somewhat older video of mine. And I'll see if I don't get a notification for it. Oh, I'm in the sand. Of course I am. Oh, that's ridiculous. Spy movie? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh no! We're in a we're in the worst spot imaginable right now. We're in the worst spot imaginable. How do I do this? That didn't curve at all. I was trying to curve it. That didn't curve the, even the slightest little bit. Well, even that didn't do what I wanted it to do. Oh, that almost went in. That would have been awesome. Yeah, l let me know if you leave a comment and then I'll go look. I might or may not get a notification for it. Mm, not yet. One fifty six, six iron. All right, Tom Jarvis, have a good one. Have good luck with your Tarman. I hit that a little bit too hard, maybe, or I didn't do the right angle. The putting's still tricky in this game. Uh, if I don't see it right away, if it doesn't pop up right away, I'll go searching for it, and I'll probably find it. Uh, I wonder if I can get to that island there. I forget how far that island is. Was it... Three wood or driver length? Might be driver length. And I underdid it. Ah! Oh! Okay, I'll now now I might rage quit.
Okay, we made it on there. Okay. I was about ready just to call it and just rage quit. I was this close. But we're still kind of in it, but not much, so... But we can still get a few good shots out of it. Oh, that that was kind of it, but I didn't put enough ump on it. I was afraid I was going to put too much ump on it this time. Happy Friday. So tomorrow, guys, will be another day of alternate reality. I'm finally getting somewhere in the game. And I think we're getting one one more step closer to beating the whole thing. And I wouldn't mind getting it done. Even though it's, it still might not be like tomorrow that we beat it. But we're, I think we're getting closer. I think we're... I have this funny feeling we're getting pretty close. That's not a bad shot there. There we go, birdie. Want to guess the wind? Do five iron. I undershot a little bit. Uh, it'll get on the green. Almost on the green. We're going to do a crazy long putt. Was it enough power? But at least we're on the green. Not enough. I never put enough ump on it. I'm always afraid to do too much that I never put enough on it. Can't win them all, you know. This will do a six iron. And hopefully it's enough. I also didn't sleep well, so that is, that's part of the problem. No, we went too far. Let's do a crazy long putt again. It could be dangerous, though. But nah, maybe not. We got the sand over there to stop us. Oh! Now I'm in the sand. But we got it in. <laughs> uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there's a creative course level. That there's these like, like 99 or 100 uh, pre-made courses in the game. And you can create your own course out of these 99 predetermined ones. But a lot of them are just like the same hole, but in a different direction. Like instead of the, it'd be like flipped and then flipped again, then flipped again. I think there's like four of each one. Four of each design to, to, but, but there's, I think this is like, this would be like course number 36, probably more than likely. It's probably what that is. If we want, we can check afterwards and we'll see what course number 36 is. Remember, it kind of looks like that with the sand right there and the pins over there. We'll actually see. I, I forgot how, how to do that, but we'll figure it out. Five iron. Is that enough? The wind was a lot more than I thought. <laughs> Jeez.
Torch number 47 might be an Easter egg? Huh. Bogey? What course was that again? 38, was it? Or was it 30? All right. Now that you said 47, you just messed me up. <laughs> so I'm, I am starting to learn a little bit about this game, Michael Hayes, with the uh, uh, how to curve the ball. By hitting it too early or too late. Which is actually coming quite handy. Go to... Oh, I undercut it. I underhit it. Oh, man. I, I, I forgot to let go. Forgot to let go. And I keep I, I, I keep doing that. I keep forgetting to let go. Oh, man. I screwed that up. There's, there's there's very little room between swinging the club back and not letting go at the very end. There's very little room for error there. Very little room. I'm going to do uh, two iron to be on the safe side. I don't know how bad the wind is. Yeah, that, that was the right decision. That was a bad putt. Bogey. Okay. How, how do I see my score? No. It's not the bottom side button, is it? Forty-five. Not enter, is it? No, enter does nothing. One? No. Might be the bottom ones. With the wind. We're going to try to curve it a little bit there. So, let go early. Curve it back. Perfect. Oh, cheated on that one. I knew it. I knew that was the wrong decision. Oh, we're on the course anyway, though. 185, and we're going against the wind. I'll do a two iron to be on the safe side. With the weird isometric view... Sometimes you can't determine which way you're really going. Sometimes it just messes up. Oh, look at that shot. That's a nice shot. But that's a terrible putt. That's a terrible putt. Jeez. 95. I did worse than my best score. I did not do very good there. Did not do very good there. Design your own course. Uh, how do I look at the courses, Michael Hayes? This is what I don't remember how to do. Do I have to look in the manual for this? This is the part I don't remember. Uh, I got the manual open. Sign a course, 99 holes. All 99 holes have a number somewhere on the screen. As you play the defined courses, notice the numbers and holes. Editing. 
Uh, after selecting to design your own, on the previewing a design course, see previewing above, a window appears showing whole number and scan number. The whole is highlighted. Press left or right side of disk to select the whole number from one day. Okay. Press the bottom of the disk to highlight the scan. Okay, 1 to 99. To see the whole, you have selected press enter. Okay. So that was 38. What one was 37? No. Maybe it was 36 is the one we were looking at. Yeah, 36. So you said 47 might be an Easter egg, huh? Oh, probably because of the controller thing, right? I'm looking for a certain uh, course. I wonder if it's back just the beginning. So if you wanted to practice, you could make yourself a, a course of just like par, like little short par threes, you know. Yeah, there is a number on each course, 79. Then you can see uh, 80 is up in that corner up there. This is the one that, but but it's but it's uh, upside down. This is the one I question if they had a dirty mind when they made this. I don't know. I don't know if you see it, Michael Hayes, but I sure see it. I do wonder if they inserted a dirty joke here. But but it's upside down. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking too far into it. Not yet. Hmm. Do, 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 do I need to give a hint <laughs> what I'm looking at? Maybe, maybe I'm just the uh, pervert. I don't know. Because I know they had a sense of humor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> it could just be a coincidence. It could just be nothing but a coincidence. But, you know, I do wonder. Maybe not. <laughs> there is that course upside right, too. But it's probably towards the beginning. And there's another one. Th there it is. <laughs> and the water is shaped like it too. Underneath it. Look at the water underneath it. You know, I, I'm not going to say it's just a coincidence, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> Upside right, yeah. Well, that that that's what they kind of did here. To, uh, instead of just designing 99 unique courses, they kind of made uh, each course in four different directions. So it was more like making, what, well, like 50 courses maybe? I don't know. If you took each course in time to time four... With four different variations...
But this is also a way if you wanted to practice cer certain courses and try different techniques and things. Like this is a par five where I think if you shot it just right, you might be able to get through those trees up here and then do a curve shot to get up to the green in two, two shots. A 99. 99 is just another variation of the same one, but from a different angle. Then you're back to hole one. So, oh, there's also the putting green. I guess you could we, we we could work in our putting, but I don't know if it's as bad. I think I would guess about there, but that's not enough juice, and that's too hard. That's right on. So you do you you can practice your putting for a while. If you really wanted to. Like I don't know how to I don't know how to hit that one. See if I put more umph on it, it almost got there, but it still didn't have enough juice. Oh, see, that's a tough one. Oh. Instead of there, maybe it should have been there. But then, then it goes over there. All right, we'll we'll play more of this next time. But we'll we'll do some more on television on Sunday. I'll open it back up to requests, but of course I'll play this at least once, somewhere in the middle there, or at the end. All right, guys, it's time to call it a night. Hope you had fun. We did fun did a fun Tarman challenge. I'll play some alternate reality tomorrow. Sunday in television, and then. Monday and Tuesday's kind of wide open. Uh, I promised an Atari 8-bit stream on one of those days. And then the other day could be whatever I want it to be. So we'll see what you guys think. So if you want something, let me know. So good night, everybody.